has commenced debate on a special motion passed by the National Assembly last week seeking to raise the national debt ceiling from 9 trillion Kenya shillings to 10 trillion. Senators split along political lines, supported or opposed the proposal, with the August 9th presidential succession race undertones mirroring their contributions. The House will vote on the motion tomorrow as it prepares to adjourn indefinitely on Thursday to enable senators to concentrate on their re-election campaigns or pursuit or the pursuit of other elective seats in the August polls. I also want to request my colleagues to support this increase because remember, whether it is uh, a, a Azimio government or Kenya Kwanzaa government, whoever comes to power, they need at least a year to settle before they can discuss an increment of, uh, of debt and other issues that are relating, uh, because they still have a lot of administrative work to do to run government. The Treasury must be honest to the Senate. They have never. I remember, Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, we have been fighting to get Treasury to come here to tell Kenyans what they are doing to manage the public debt, Madam Speaker, and to tell us about retiring the expensive loans, Madam Speaker. They are taking commercial loans as opposed as to concessional loans, Madam Speaker. Today, we want better hospitals. How are we going to be able to have better hospitals if the government does not have money? Then it begs the question, Madam Speaker, and this is what we should be demystifying for the general public to be able to understand, is that is debt good or bad? Look at our budget. Currently, every year, we are collecting about 1.6, 1.7 trillion, depending. It's not even 2 trillion. And we are having a national budget of over 3 trillion every year. That is to mean, sooner than later, we still have to increase our public debt ceiling. And it also means we are living way beyond our means. Na tumeona kwamba baada ya mheshimiwa rais Kenyatta na mheshimiwa waziri mkuu Raila Amolo Odinga walipokuja pamoja ndio maswala yakaweza kudhibitiwa sasa uchumi ukaweza kudhibitiwa vita dhidi ya ofisari vikaweza kupamba moto na wengi wale wanaolalamika kwa sasa mheshimiwa speaker wanalalamika kwa sababu wameona kwamba ile mifereji yao ambayo walikuwa wakitumia kuchukua kupora pesa za serikali imeweza kufungwa